Our panel, Mohammed Afiz, welcome back. Thank Pleasure you, to have you well. once again. Uh, before, gentlemen, we get into what happened. A refresher, देखते हैं जरा match समझी कि क्या हुआ in Saint Vincent. A quick look at how it all went down for Afghanistan. <laughs> well, Australia won the toss, put Afghanistan to bat first. More on that in just a bit. But that's what they did with the bat. One forty-eight on the board. Um, a good job by, of course, the opening partnership once again. Sixty four. And Erin, this is the part where it gets so interesting now because you see India are at the top. They're sitting nicely at that top. Spot, but Australia <laughs> and Afghanistan are now tied with two points each up for all these three teams. Mari, I'm going to start with you. Uh, were Were you expecting to see another Maxwell heroic innings where he takes the game away from the Afghanistan players and gives you this sense of deja vu that we were all expecting? If I'm being honest, I didn't actually watch it, so <laughs> I was still well Fair. asleep at that point. But Fair. I mean, if I look at the scorecard here and sort of, I can get a bit of a picture of what happened. Um, Played the lone hand. Just needed one person really to um, to actually help him get there. Um, and I think if you look at the the situation they got themselves into, they were 100 106 for five. Yeah. And they lost 21 for five at the end to to lose it. And I think that's just the a key moment in the game when around when Maxwell got out, someone then needed to pick up the slack. And unfortunately, they couldn't and they do it. They did 43 of 32 at that point when yeah. Maxwell. It, I mean, it's there. not an impossible task. That they just they just couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it, it showed. I mean, as I said, there's one more person. To stick with Maxi for a bit, then to create a, a decent partnership, they had a their most their biggest partnership was 39 runs. Mm. Not going to not going to win your game chasing. If that could have been pushed to 50, 60 to 70, they win <coughs> easily. Um, but it wasn't to be. You credit to Afghanistan though; they they stuck at it. They they played extremely well. Um, top order batters again, 100 run partnership, 116 and, and, and 15 overs or so, and just set the game up for them beautifully. And I, I think a lot of credit got to go to uh, Mohammad Nabi as well. Ten runs off four balls at the end to give them a bit of momentum going into the to the bowling innings as well. It was um, it was what they needed to cap off what was such a fantastic opening partnership. And such a historic win for Afghanistan, <coughs> and what really sets up such an interesting Super Eights pool. Now, unfortunately, at the expense of the Aussies, it looks like now it could be a battle off between Australia and Afghanistan as to who gets that second spot and makes that Aussie India clash tomorrow. Oh, so interesting. But you know, Yunus Khan, we said yesterday in our pre-analysis of this match, if Afghanistan were going to try and challenge Australia, they had to try and bat first, take. Yeah. The pressure off that top water to just go out there, be expansive and, and do what we've seen them do two matches already in this T20 World Cup where they put on 100 run partnerships. That's exactly <coughs> what Romano Lugrabaz and Ibrahim Zadrin did. You got your wish when you were looking at the game ahead of yesterday. Uh, what impressed you about the Afghanistan unit and how they managed to get that historic first win against it Australia? It was an impressive win against the Aussies and, and, and you know, uh, team Afghanistan, they always want to win against India, Pakistan or Australia and they love to play like that and it was easy for them bat first as as we mentioned last night if they bat first and they have scored like 150 or 60 they have a good chance because in these tricky pitches when you have good spinners and your fast bowler they on the run so you have you have the good chance so it, it was uh, all together like a combined effort from them and it is learning you know sometimes you learn like that uh, uh, maybe it's 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 been good for australia too when they in the, the the top four they can maybe they can bat first or chase so i, I think sometimes it's good for your uh, if you win in uh, in the first first uh, uh, session of the uh, then you can you know learn from that so i think it was good for both of the team and the, the, the game was same similar like for both especially in the batting there was uh, from Afghanistan, there were a partnership, and then they are not finishing well. Same goes for Australia. So I think when you're posting or chasing, you have to be you have to be there because the partnership is very crucial for you. And how about a word on Rashid Khan's captaincy as well? Because he amazing. tried everything with the bowling yeah. unit. Gulbadeen Naib ended up player of the match with four wickets. He was the eighth bowler that he utilised. So he really threw every little bit of that bowling arsenal that he had at Australia. Let me start with the middle hug. You know, straight away he, 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 he take wickets. So that means that he's he, he's a mature captain, and he loves to you know ex uh, uh, execute his plan. So I think if the captain like that, you know, he's a match winner, he perform well, and he want to uh, win uh, matches for his country. So I think he's in a good shape right now. Right. Let's talk about uh, Professor. What do you think <laughs> of how Afghanistan approached this game? Because there was a lot of talk on pressure, on histories, on rivalries, on the context and seeing that they have never defeated Australia ever before in a World Cup to do that and to do it so convincingly, what are your takeaways from the manner in which Afghanistan did Well, there is no doubt it was an uphill task for them but I would like to congratulate all Afghanistan team, management, the people behind it, uh, start believing on them, themselves and then executing mm -hmm. their skills accordingly. Uh, really impressed as a as an ex-cricketer of Pakistan that watching someone uh, growing yeah. in the field of cricket very well and I'm sure and, and I'm, I have no doubt to say that in white ball cricket as we've seen the progress of South uh, Afghanistan in the last 50 over World Cup and also in this T20 World Cup they are the second best T20 format uh, white ball cricket mm. team in South Asia 
after India because they are proving them at the highest stage. So, they deserve to be enjoying that part obviously there is a lot of hunger, there is a lot of commitment behind it um, as a team and they wanted to win as my Yunus Khan mentioned they wanted to win big names, they wanted to give that statement and you know how much they given us happiness to the fans of Afghanistan I am sure they all must be really proud of that uh, and they, they are in a very good position at the moment because sometime you know for the Australia I can only say that um, as you dig a hole for someone you might fall into it. So, at the moment I think they, the statement came out from Australia earlier in this tournament it must be haunting them at the moment because they can be out of this tournament because they were thinking the same way for England. Yeah. Now, they fall themselves into that where they can be out of this tournament. This so, they are relying on a win tournament right I mean these no, this, is, this is what sometimes sometime this tournament can bring a lot of excitement to you because we never expect that Australia is going to lo lose that way. Yeah. But you know one good game from the opposition and one bad game from yourself can fall into that scenario where they might lose their chance to get into the semi-finals. Yeah, but you know all credit to time. Afghanistan at yeah. the moment they, they, they did that task quite comprehensively. Uh, and the, you know sometimes when you really want to do something everything works for you. Mm -hmm. The condition that what, what would be the best venue to do that? That was mm -hmm. St. Vincent and they got that there. Mm -hmm. So, I think as a team they, they, they displayed a great intent to win this game. They wanted to win that for the country and they did it and we are I am so happy and proud of them too mm -hmm. the way they are progressing in international cricket. And how much importance will you give to that opening pair? so far in this World Cup and once again against a quality Australian attack, Ramanullah Gurbaz chipping in once again and that opening stand they have done it uh, for the third time in this tournament, a 100 plus stand if you could also watch the highlights of Gurbaz's innings as you could have Professor your views on what makes him so crucial to this batting order. He is a special player and you don't have to worry about the ranking. How impactful you are, he is winning the game for Afghanistan and his innings are winning the game for Afghanistan and his innings are winning the game for Afghanistan because he took his time even though he was trying to get his flow back, लेकिन क्योंकि पीछे में उस तरह की pace नहीं थी, लेकिन उसके बावजूद जो साठ runs उन्होंने किए हैं, as an opener जो impact डाला है, वहाँ से और भी ज़्यादा अच्छी performance कर सकता था अफ़गानिस्तान, लेकिन फिर भी एक enough runs on the board लगाए, जो इस pitch पे challenge किया जा सकता था any opposition को। मैं समझता हूँ कि गुरबाज़ और ब्राहिम as a opening pair बहुत शानदार cricket गुरबाज या इब्राहिम ये टीम मैच जीत रही है तो ये चाहिए आपके 50 100 और 5 और उस वक्त काम आएंगे जब उसका इंपैक्ट विनिंग होने जाए विनिंग कॉज आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस व्हाई दे प्ले लाइक दैट रन अ बॉल व्हाई व्हेन बाबर आजम एंड मोहम्मद रिजवान प्लेइंग लाइक दैट वी वी ऑलवेज आफ्टर देम व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू नो दे नो द रोल्स इफ दे हैव रन्स लाइक 140 और 50 दे हैव अ गुड स्पिन स्पिन ऑप्शंस सो आई थिंक समटाइम यू कॉम्प्लीमेंट ईच अदर as a as as a batting unit, as a bowling unit, and you know your strength. Mm -hmm. So that's that's that is the difference between Pakistan and Afghanistan. They knows if they score 140 or 50, 60, they have a good chance because they have a proper fast bowler. They who they they they, they took uh, wickets in the power plays, and then they have a good quality spinner. Yeah. Maybe they took three or four wickets. Same like so that's why they are different. But they are playing like uh, Pakistani batting line. But they know that they have a quality spinners yeah. who, who can take wickets for them. Uh, the conditions we did think would suit them, particularly in St. Vincent, given a very spin-friendly wicket. We saw that in the team that Australia chose to field as well. Mitchell Stark missing out at the expense of Ashton Agar, who was very wily with his left arm, so orthodox. Uh, only went for 17 runs off his four overs and opened the innings, Martin Guptill. But the way that Ibrahim Zadran also supported Roman Ulugrabaz, who is generally the power hitter of the two, it has to be said. But Ibrahim went with him and supported him and gave them that huge partnership, which ended up being the most constructive partnership of both innings, it has to be said. Uh, we'll really leave some of the highlights of Zadran's innings now, but do you think Australia missed a trick by opting for the extra spinner and leaving out that left arm quick of Mitchell Stark in these conditions? I can understand why they did that. Um, obviously, Stark is such a match winner. You know, when he's on, he's, mm -hmm. he's really on. And, just wondering if he could have made some early inroads there, but look, what transpired happened. I mean, I think we just saw there a misfield, which I, I read something that Australia weren't so um, good in the field uh, for this game. So they'll, they'll be kicking themselves about that. And they'll want to come out a bit, a bit better than um, come out away from this game better than when they, when they went in. So and on the blue side, oh, so this is in terms of the partnership, you know, that's what happens in Korea. Mm -hmm. You know, you're never going to get off to the, the, you know, your 200 strike rates every time. It's a matter mm -hmm. of building into your innings sometimes on tricky wickets, and that's what it sort of looked like here. Tricky wicket to start with get a partnership going and then it flourishes and then that's when you can actually start scoring quite freely. Um, these two just really depicted that so well um, overnight um, and, and set up a win for them. I mean, hats off to them. It's not easy to do against an Australian bowling attack and they, and they did it really well. Everyone has an off day sometimes, it has to be said, but in terms of the intensity of the field, yes, Australia did look a little bit sloppy. Hafiz, we have very high standards for them as they do for themselves when it comes to their fielding unit. But 
apparently in the chase, the intensity of the Afghanistanis as that win was materialising in front of them and becoming a reality. Apparently there was there was just so much noise in the field between them all. Rashid Khan was you know, getting up in, in his teammates' faces and egging them on, energising them for the win. I don't want to say Afghanistan wanted it more, but it just seemed like in terms of looking at the intensity, one side was a lot more switched on today in every facet and that was Afghanistan. Well, you know, as a fan of cricket, we all know that Australia is very consistent. But they are also very consistent in the bad fielding in this tournament. Mm. So they remained consistent in a, in a wrong way this, this time. So I think in this tournament, if you see the Australians attitude in the field, they, they've been sloppy. They dropped too many catches and in the field we've seen this last night too. They were not great the way they, they used to be. So obviously whatever, whatever happening in the fielding is a different part. But you know the energy brought into Afghanistan team that was great to see because they knew they can challenge in these conditions mm. Australians very well mm. and they complemented each other. Captain did a fantastic job but by applying all the right resources around him, he, he matched up many, many batsmen accordingly like Nabi bowled one over yeah. and then he took a one wicket and took, it, took him away, yeah. bringing back Gulbadin and doing the damage for Aust Australia in this, in, in this match. So I think personally as a captain, he utilized his human resource very well by matching up in the right, best possible way and the energy because they all started believing obviously the belief was always there but once they posted that score then the belief was there after getting the first wicket of Travis Head they started believing themselves that they can win this game and why not to just enjoy that moment which obviously we have seen a lot of fans around the world of Afghanistan team they're enjoying it all over the world and Rohan getting over that mental block as well of what happened in Mumbai last yeah. year they had it they lost it yeah. Glenn Maxwell very nearly took the game away from them again, but the way that they uh, attacked that mental hurdle of that defeat last year, which should have been a victory, uh, it was impressive. And you know, they came out on top of that pressure as well, and also what we were talking about yesterday as well, the context between the two, the two boards, bilateral relations haven't been great, so I think that also adds to uh, them wanting it that much more, Erin, because it means so much to the fans, as Gulbadi Naib also in his uh, post-match um, speech there, he also dedicated that spell to the fans of Afghanistan for supporting their team through all of the ups and downs, and there have been many ups and downs, but let's take another look at that beautiful spell where Ra Captain Rashid Khan was clear with what role Gulbadi Naib had. Uh, Yunus, you expect that out of all of the bowlers who on Afghanistan depend on Afghanistan, it will be Gulbadi Naib who will make that critical difference in a critical match. Hey, Gulbadi Naib has never been in his quality because he has been a captain. But the last time World Cup in Birmingham, he has been in the last time in Birmingham. He has been in the last time in Birmingham. He has been in the last time. और जैसे हमने बार-बार यहाँ बात करके देखें वो चाहते हैं कि वो विन करें और उनको पता है कि ये जो विन है ये बहुत मैटर करती है सिर्फ उनकी टीम के लिए नहीं पूरी उनकी कंट्रीमेंट्स के लिए करती है क्योंकि उनको पता है कि ये हमारी खुशी है जो हालात हैं वहाँ अफगानिस्तान में तो ये चाहते हैं हमेशा कि हम कुछ ऐसे वंडर्स करें और ये एक प्लेटफॉर्म है जहां जहां हम जीतते हैं और खास तौर पे बड़ी टीम्स के खिलाफ जीतते हैं तो वो होते हैं तो मेरा ख्याल से देखिए ये इनके पास सिर्फ एक वरिष्ठ साइन जो है ना इनकी बस मिडल ऑर्डर में बैटिंग जो है अगर ये कहीं से रन जोड़ना शुरू कर देना तो मैं इसी बता रहा हूं कि ये इस ट्रॉफी के लिए भी जा सकते हैं बस ये इनका एक पॉइंट है जो कि इनको करना है बस इस पे भी बात हो सकती है क्योंकि वी आर नॉट सेइंग कि अफगानिस्तान आर अ परफेक्ट टीम दे हैव हैड देयर इश्यूज एंड दैट मिडल ऑर्डर हैज नॉट बीन टेस्टेड एट ऑल एंड व्हेन इट हैज बीन टेस्टेड इट डिड नॉट डिलीवर वाइल चेजिंग बट थोड़ा सा गुलबदीन के ऊपर हम और बात करें हफीज ही वाज सो क्रिटिकल ही टुक अ विकेट इन ईच ओवर दैट ही बोल्ड and very strategically removing all of the batters and remembering what Maxwell can do. He took his wicket, he unsettled him, he trapped him. After that, Tim David's wicket. After that, Pat Cummins for him because we know Cummins can bat as well. He was so critical and all over the place. Look, you could win when you had your wicket. And as a baller, you come to 10 hours and you win middle over. So you have won the match, 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 you have won the match. So I think that he has his personal belief on that, that he can do that job for the country. Uh, captain's uh, trust on him, bringing him in the best possible way, giving him a ball and then he utilized the conditions very well. Mm. As a ball, if you see, he hit more often the stumps well and then most of the time, whoever missed it, mm. thank you very much, ball bowled him out. So, I think as a, as a bowler, he utilized yeah. the conditions very well. He, as, as Yunus Khan mentioned, he, he wanted to do that for the country because he himself was well, one time the captain of Afghanistan. Yeah. So, he knew that how mm. big this would be for the team and this is how you play for a team. Like, no matter if you are a captain, you are not a leader, like you are not, you are not given that designation, but you have to play your role for the, for the team you play for. So, I think uh, Gulbadin, Mohammad Nabi, uh, even the ex-captain, whoever was there, they must all be mm. proud of that, the way they brought that for, pa for Afghanistan team because, you know, Afghanistan as a nation wanted to achieve more. So, uh, they deserve to rise because their hunger, their commitment, their, their hard work attitude is always there. I know there's still some small things to uh, to get better, but that will also take a little bit more time. Yeah. But so far in the last five years of international cricket, this team is growing high mm -hmm. and uh, deserve to be there. 
the, the mental resilience of this yeah. side, the rise and rise of Afghanistan, they're getting better and better on the world stage. You can see the belief is finally there within those playing 11 that they can actually do this. Maybe they can go all the way. I had them in my top four at the beginning of this tournament. I didn't think it might have been at the expense of Australia, so I hope I'm not eating my words there. But you know, just before we wrap up what has been you know, a truly historic performance from Afghanistan to finally unsettle the Aussies, Marty, let's talk about the Aussie test captain just for one second, Pat Cummins. He'd never taken a hat-trick before in T20 World Cups. He goes and does it in back-to-back -back games. I mean, what a competitor he is. He rises to the challenge, whatever his team requires from him. He didn't have the captain's hat on today, but you know, what a performance from him. Back-to-back hat-tricks. Like, the guy's just insane. Yeah, I'm not even sure that's happened in cricket before, is it? Back to back hat tricks. I mean, no, that has been done once by Wasim Akram, Wasim Akram in oh, Test cricket. So first ball, in, first time in white ball cricket, well, 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 second time across. I mean, pretty incredible. Um, you know, getting out a couple of their, their main hitters at the end of the yeah. innings is uh, a pretty pretty clutch moment. And um, yeah, I mean, hats off to him. You got to put the ball in the right area, and, and sort of whatever happens after that's out of your control. But um, you know, hats off to him. Well done. Not much else can be really said, can it? What a competitor. And now Australia are going to need to dig deep. They're going to try and make their way into those semi-finals. I can't believe I'm saying that after an undefeated T20 World you Cup You had so a minus in your top four to begin with. So I think your, your wishes are coming true, Erin. I just didn't think that India would also be in the same pool. So we get into the funny <laughs> game and let's just laugh about it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Daily Live with Shweb. So this video, I will show you this video. You can check it धूप लगी हुई है काफी ज्यादा और ये पौधा आप चेक कर सकते हैं पता नहीं किस चीज का आज तक समझ नहीं आई है किस चीज का पौधा चेक अगर किसी भाई को समझ आती है तो वो लाजमी कमेंट कर ना इस पे कोई चीज लगती है कोई अजीब किस्म का ये ना समझ नहीं आती है किस किस्म का पौधा ये भी हो चेक कर धूप इतनी ज्यादा लगी इस वक्त जो टेंपरेचर है तकरीबन 44 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड और धूप का हम चेक करें कितनी तेज धूप लगी हुई <laughs> ये विलेज वाले माहौल है ये जो पुराने टाइप होते थे ना अब तो खैर ये कबाड़ खाने बन चुके हैं लेकिन ये विलेज टाइप और जो विलेज में रहते हैं उनको आईडिया होगा इस इन चीजों को अब ये टाइप नहीं होती जो ये चेक इस पौधे का अगर किसी को पता है तो वो लास्ट में मुझे बताएगी पता नहीं किस चीज का पौधा 